What's going on? Why is everyone at the graveyard? Um, everyone has gone to Adana's castle to celebrate the decade of her reign. Wait, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come clear on this. Me like father, mother, everybody, the whole royal household went to honor Adani on my day of return. Yes, my prince. Actually, I was left behind so that I can bring you there. My prince, let's go. My son, your highness, he declared coming with me. What? Why? Greetings, brother. Brother, what is the problem? Well, Father wants to see you. Business deprived you witnessing the never seen drama that happened in Adanis Castle. Hey, baby. If not business, what else? My friend, you missed. Hi! I wished you were there. Oh, this ceremony was the highest that I've ever seen. Don't tell me you missed it now, eh? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. Sorry to disappoint you, but I missed it. Yes, I missed it. With the ceremony put food on my table this week. You choose. Business or ceremony, which is better? As you can see, me, I have chosen business. So I have chosen business because today happens to be one of my luckiest days. Hey, I am so happy I made the decision not to attend that ceremony. If not, the world will be regretting. Chinatu, I think you are a lunar. 
You like to deprive yourself of things that lifts your spirits and makes you happy. Hey, Bobby. The only thing that can make me happy right now is more money to take care of all my needs and wants. That's all. Your life, your choice. Thank mm. God you know. By the way, you mean you made all this money today? Including this one, one thousand? Mm -mm. Abacha. Achaba. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'll join this business, so <laughs> <laughs> no problem. There's space for you. You will teach me now. Hey, but you'll pay me. I'll pay you after all this money that I'm because, saying. Because I told you you like money. Today happens to be my luckiest day. Look at and you want me to attend ceremony. What could be his reason for not attending the ceremony? Mm. Let's wait. Till he comes and explains. Then we will know his reasons. What took you so long? He refused to talk to me. He didn't talk to you? Yes, mother. I even stood there for a while. I was talking to him, but he pretended as if he's not hearing me. But he did. It's okay. Uh. I will speak to him myself, and I'll know his reasons. Son? Son, what is the problem? Do not keep mute like you do not see me. You refuse coming down to one of my call. I climbed the stair and I'm here. You're still silent. AGK, do not take your father the king for an idiot. You drove up the hills of Ifitani to honor the ceremony of a woman whom you deem much more important than your own son you haven't seen for a while who has been abroad for eight years on his day of return. So, Father, climbing just a few staircases wouldn't be that much of a sacrifice, would it?
they got it all wrong. We couldn't have missed the ceremony either. You know, sometimes we do wrong trying to do the right things. And that is when proper apologies come in. He knows the position of Adani in Iftar. As the next traditional ruler of Ifitani, he should be able to understand because in the future he will find himself in some kind of situation. Maybe he doesn't. And that is where proper explanations come in. He has every right to be displeased if he's not properly treated. No one likes to be disappointed. You're right, my queen. Let's allow him some rest. I'll speak to him tomorrow. Thank you, my king. I mean, can you imagine? No, seriously, can, can, can you just imagine the disgrace? How lowly placed I was? I mean, can, 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 can you just imagine the mockery? You know what? You know what? Um, I'll hold you back. Son, I want to talk to you. I'll be fine here, I'll be fine here, I'll be fine, I'll see you. How much is the plate of Abacha? Again, as usual, 300 with fish, 250. Hey, give me the one with fish, give me the one with fish. Mm -hmm. I've tried. Mm -hmm. Do you want onion? Eh, put onion, put onion. Small, small. Small, small onions. And fish. And one fish. Mm -hmm. That one way big ahead. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Thank you. I can give you clean money. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go see tomorrow.
It's been a while, sir. I just want you to feel the, the naturality of the environment once again. Well, in my own opinion, nothing has changed. Yes, even the tradition. Only that when you miss them for some time, it gives a special kind of feeling and understanding. And what part of the tradition are we talking about here? The type and the kind that will make you abandon your sounds return, just like I did yesterday. Well, when I'm king, even before I become king, I will never disrespect my son in such manner. I pray you don't find yourself in such a situation. I know that's never going to happen. Because I don't know what ceremony will make me ignore the arrival of my own son. Adani is the number one indigen in Ifitani and the most honored woman. Did I hear you right? Oh, yes. Wait, 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 father. Hold on. <laughs> Don't tell me that you were actually summoned with the royal household. I said everybody, including yourself, to Adani's. The tradition made it a mandatory that we all needed to be there. For what? For what? When you get there, you will know. Shall we? Yes, Papa. I know you have been asking me about Adani. Yes, Papa, tell me. <laughs> you see, Adani position is one that is occupied by somebody from the blue blood lineage. Once in every two centuries. Blue blood. Yes. What are the requirements to pick Adani, Papa? <laughs> well, we have the blue blood lineage of Ifitani. The Ezemo will choose the chosen one from that lineage through the directive of the gods. And when the person is chosen, she weighs so much power and authority that the king is answerable to her. But this whole thing is confusing. From books that I've read, Kings are the most important in their land. Why is our own different? You are right, my daughter. Igbo culture and tradition is the same, but just with a slight difference, just like in our own case. The truth of the matter is that <clears throat> the Adani position is a very powerful one. Do you know that when Adani is chosen, she performs the New Year festival? Hmm? Yes. The Ezemo takes order from her. And the king must visit her castle to seek her consent in any decision he wants to take about the kingdom. Papa, that, that's limiting his supremacy. You are right, my dear. You are right. But ours is like a monarch system. Like, just like the British, where the queen is supreme. Adan enjoys more supremacy. Papa, you, you said something about blue blood. Please, what is blue blood? <laughs> My daughter, there's more to the existence of Adani, which I might not give you all the details now. <laughs> Don't worry, go and get my food. Yeah? <laughs> okay, Papa. All right. So, that is it. And that is nonsense. That is rubbish. With due respect, Father, whoever made that statement has made a nuisance of a statement. Rubbish! 
You're being insulted. Son. I have told you this story over and over again for years. Why acting as if this is the first time of hearing it? Because I have grown to realize what a true insult is. Father, open your eyes. You are being insulted. Your throne is being insulted. Look down upon. It means nothing worth even more than tissue paper. What are we talking about here? We are royalty. And we must enjoy supreme power. I say it again. Supreme power in this land. Not one woman who sits on a useless throne as a dali. Mind your words. We are outside. And of course, you know the walls have ears. Well, I don't care. I don't care. Let them hear. I don't care. Father, now is your reign. But one day, I will rule Ifitani as king and as supreme leader, supreme ruler, supreme and sole custodian of our culture and tradition. Not one woman on one throne. You will have the gods to contend with. Well, they will hear. They will hear from me. They will hear my reasons. Because if they didn't want a king, they should have made it clear from the onset. Not bringing people to sit on one throne and look like mannequins that can talk. My son, this is an age-long tradition established by our forefathers, our ancestors, and you cannot fight against it. Let's wait till I'm king. Then the gods and this palace will see. Agali, the gods of justice and tranquility. The gods that see beyond human imagination. You have never failed your people. Whatever we request, Agali, you are there to fulfill it to us. And we adore you. You have been the gods of our forefathers. And we can never leave you. What we seek is what we get from you. We are happy that you are there. I apologize if I interrupt the communication between the gods and its mouthpiece. You came just like the gods directed. I anticipate your visit. May they live long and ageless. Just like they are from the beginning. A cock does not run in the daylight in vain. What do I owe this visit? Uh, she demands your presence now. I shall arrive before she bats an eyelid. I will deliver as you said. May the party go be submissive, just like the one you came from. You see. As you said, so shall it be done. Come in. Greetings, my prince. Yes, greetings. Much is served. I'll be out in a bit. Thank you, my prince. It's not, it's not. I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's nice, you know, but um, um, this is not actually what I would have loved to eat. So what do you want to eat? You know, I've had too much rice. 
understand? I've had too much rice abroad. I would have loved, you know, something, you know, something closer to home. You know, something much more traditional. Not rice. Only hammer time can close both the rich and the poor. Yes, because the rich and the poor enjoys the reign of hammer time. Um, I don't understand. Is it that the meal is not delicious or what? What happened? For me, the food was okay. But he said he doesn't want to eat rice any longer. He needs something local. Something local like, uh, uh, was he specific on particular food or something? He did not, but I guess he wants something like um, roasted yam, bush meat, roasted plantain, palm wine. That wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness. Oh, greetings, Onyama. Oh, what is it? Your Highness, Ezedibia is here to see you. Ezedibia? Oh, okay. Let him wait at the throne room. He said he doesn't want to come inside. Doesn't want to come in? Okay. I'll build him. We'll see. Ezedibia, why have you refused to come in? Because the gods are angry. What could be the reason? Has anybody committed any atrocity or abomination that could anger the gods? The royal family. Royal family? What has the royal family done that could anger the gods? When a child refuses to answer his or her call and goes into hiding, then something is wrong. He who is being admired doesn't need to wear rags. Who is this admirable man in this royal family that is Adonan or Rag? The prince. My son? Yes. What has he done? The question should be, what has it he done? This is Divya, I'm kind of confused. I better take my leave. When a man refuses to hear the cry of a child seeking for help, then that man is heartless. I mean no harm. Why are you following me like a fly? Because I need the attention. Okay, you have it. What do you want to say? 
My name is Ebuko Nyema. Mm. Don't worry. The next time I see you, I will make sure I call you by your name. Can I go now? What about you? Don't you have a name? I don't have a name. <laughs> you know that is not possible. My brother, anywhere you see me, call me when I abacha. I'll answer you. Oh? What? What's the problem? What did he say? The gods are angry because you are yet to fulfill the necessary obligation, which is a visit to Adani for your blessings since you return to the kingdom. Over my dead body. Did you say over your dead body? Yes, father, you heard me over my dead body. I am royalty. I don't know who she is. If there's anybody who should be visiting anybody, she should be visiting me, not the other way around. Does she have a name? Who is she? My son, she is Adani, also from the lineage of Blue Blood. And I am Prince AGK, the next king of Ifite Ani. And I will not bow down before any female creature. Father, if you have disgraced reduced, disrespected your office by bowing down to her, count your son out. Hmm. <clears throat> My son, please do not start something you cannot finish. One thing you fail to realize about me, father, is I'm a train that doesn't know how to stop. When I want something, I never get tired. And this next king called EGK has his brain in between his ears. EGK. EGK. I was fortunate to see him the other day. I swear with my womb, this young man is handsome and charming. <laughs> really, I'm telling you, immediately I set my eyes on him. I couldn't help but imagine myself in his arms. <sighs> Wonderful imagination. <clears throat> now, come back into reality before you fall into the bush. And what is that supposed to mean? Hey, Bobby, you better cut your coat according to your size. The making impossible wishes. You think I am not worthy to have the prince, right? <laughs> well, Miss Wisha, I've always known you to be jealous. Mother, I think I stand with Ejike. Do you really know what you stand for? The truth. The truth everyone is scared to say. Good. My dear child. Have you taken time out to know why people are not talking about it? <laughs> Probably for their interest. It's time someone speaks out. And the only person that will do that is the person it affects, being us. Let me educate you, my child. Okay. People are not talking about it because nobody wants to be in war with the gods. But nobody is fighting the gods. He's just trying to right the wrong happening in this land. Well, since you have the privilege, stop him from taking the step he wants to go into. Everyone who did in the past did not have a happy ending. It is not going to end well. <laughs> Mother, I think it's time for someone to give it a try. And that's what he's trying to do.
My prince, you sent for me. Oh, yes. Um, please, is there anywhere you can get me African salad? Well, I, I am sure I can get that at a uh, for market. Good. You go to my room in the drawer by the right. There's some money there. Take some of it and get it for me, please. Kindly ignore every single dollar note you see there. Thank you. Okay, my prince. Thank you. Greetings, Your Majesty. Welcome, my queen. I just said you sent for me. Yes, I did. Okay. It is about your son. <sighs> His refusal to pay homage to Adani, right? Yes. Please. I want you to speak to him. He needs to do the needful so he doesn't attract the wrath of the gods. I have spoken to him, but he remained obstinate about it. I have to. Oh, you did? Yes, my king. But from his response, I don't think he will ever give in. Why has this boy made up his mind to bring calamity to this family and the entire kingdom? Um, 
Let me get the maids to serve it at the dining. No, 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 please, please bring it here. African food is best served the African way from source. Please, please, please. Uh, no, 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 hot as it's supposed to be. What is right, what is wrong? A king should be below and take the king. You have to know what you have to do. When a child decides to know what he is, he becomes a victim of what he is. When he is a woman, he is a woman. He is a woman. He is a woman. Yes. When a child wants to know what killed his father, automatically he becomes the victim of what killed his father. Greetings, says the Dibia. Says the Dibia will greet you. Greetings, elders of Ifitani. He whose house is on fire doesn't go after us. Says the Dibia. Can you please come clear so that we can decode your meaning? Let us understand what you're saying. Exactly. Is only a foolish man after eating to his satisfaction challenges his chi in a battle. Tell the king that time is of essence. Before the anger of Adani, I works the anger of the gods of Ifitani. The rain that is about to fall is not the same rain that you use umbrella as shelter. And when it falls, tell him Ifitani will be wiped out. What is he talking about? I don't know. Both of us are just hearing the message for the first time. Maybe you should tell the king he says that west. Maybe the king will understand. In that case, let me go back and see the king immediately before going home. I think that's the right thing to do. Aye. You said time is of essence. Time is of essence. Gawana, people. Time. What's up? Time. I'm back now. Time. Time. Chinatu. 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 Bye, Prince. Mm. I hope you are enjoying the African salad. You know what? Seriously, I'm underwhelmed, you know. The hype you gave this African salad was just way over the top. I know I've tasted better. You no, know, I'm eating it because... You know, I miss it, but I know there's something missing. There's something missing. That means this one is not good. Like I said, there's something just missing in the taste. Something. <laughs> My prince, African salad is unique. One of the things that made it so is the difference in taste, which depends on the person that prepared it. Yeah. But, uh, don't worry, I will try and get it from another person next time. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, you know what? Um, you can have it. Mm -hmm. You can have it. Uh, I'm sorry, my friends. Yeah, it's okay. Enjoy. I'll try and get better one next yeah, time. Enjoy yourself. It's okay. All right. Thank you, my friends. Yes, please get from. A better source next time, huh? Uh, my yeah, better source. He said time is of essence. You also mentioned the wrath of Adani and the gods. Oh no. Majesty. The prince has refused to pay homage to Adani as the gods demand. Why? What is his reason? A stupid one. He actually said that it is Adani that will pay homage to him for being a royalty. Is he out of his senses? 
the same question I asked. Didn't you explain the sanctity of Adani in Ifitani to him? You know who I did. But all fell on a deaf ear. The prince is playing with fire. What are you doing here? You are back. Mm -mm. I'm not back. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I was market today. You have not answered my question. What are you doing here? Chinato, I'm here to see you. What for? Can you just give me a listening ear? How long have you been here? Over an hour now. Fine. I am listening. What do you want? Why do you hate me with so much passion? God forbid I hate my fellow human who has done nothing to me. Then why are you avoiding me? Because you are disturbing me. Okay. I'm sorry if that's the way you see it. But I don't mean any harm. I mean well for you. What is it? Ibuka, what do you want from me? Chinati, I want you. Yes, I love you. Can't you see it? You see, my prince, tradition has willed so much past to her. But that doesn't concern me. I have no business with that. Not at all. If tradition has willed her so much power, then let her rule over the tradition and custom of the people who say so, except my very self. And of course, some wise people. Yes, I know what royalty is. I understand it and I've read books on it too. Listen, a king is to be the sole custodian of custom and culture. I'll say it again. A king is to be the sole custodian of culture and tradition of his people. Not the other way around. So I don't care whatever power that has been willed to her. I don't care. It has nothing to do with me. Meaningless to me. You see, my prince, you don't understand. Her anger spits like burning fire. Burning fire. And in fact, your decision might bring down the wrath of the gods upon this country. Now I'm waiting for the wrath. Let the wrath come. I'm waiting. <gasps> My prince. Yes. He who lives in glass house should not throw stones. Do not throw stones, please. Oh no. Yeah. That depends on the direction the stones are being thrown. Wake up. The king sent me. To do what? To apologize for... Oh no, Wu! If the king wants to apologize, he should do that himself. He knows about this, but... Leave.
I understand your agitation. And I stand by you. But... No buts, please. No buts here. No buts. There has to be. How do you expect everyone to follow a path you woke up with? You have to convince them why they should. What other conviction do they need? I'm telling you, what other conviction do they need? Knowing that their tradition has unnecessarily willed too much power to that woman, making our father a mockery, the king a mockery. Our father is supposed to be the supreme leader, the supreme custodian of our culture and our people's tradition, not the other way around. If you do not know this, the royal household has become nothing. It has become ordinary. It has become silly. It has become nothing but a tissue paper. Well, I'm not here to talk you out from your decisions. Just that you need to understand what you want to put this family into. I am waiting for the wrath of the gods to come. Unlike all of you, all of you, I refuse to be manipulated. Never will I be manipulated. Never. AGK. You heard me. Did you thoroughly explain to her my reasons? She would not even let me speak. She insisted I deliver to you exactly what she said to me. That's so inhuman. How could she be so inconsiderate? Your Majesty, do you not speak evil of Adani. It is a taboo, remember? Hey. <clears throat> um, I uh, will take my leave now. Please, take your drink. Uh, thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, maybe next time. Your Majesty. So who is right, who is wrong? A king should be supreme And leave a bow to any woman Oi, what is right, what is wrong? A king should be... How I so wish these things can be amended Don't tell me to calm down Don't tell me to calm down when things are getting from bad to worse well, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, there's so much I can do, Mother. So much. That will not bring calamity upon this land. I have been saying this. I have been shouting. I have been complaining. But nobody dares to listen. Nobody. Now, have we seen it? Have we all seen it? A tradition father protects now turns around to make him a mockery. How can? Now, can you imagine a subject... A subject, Adani, sends for father and says, Father, the king, should come personally to apologize to her. Where does that happen? Where? No, no, tell me where. Now, do you even know if that woman hasn't told father to kiss her feet and call her queen? You're looking at me? Okay. Furthermore, that woman and father consults personally and privately. Do you know what has been happening? Do you know? Food for thought. Of course, you should know he's a boy. Old enough to be a king. I know. I know, but please, bad on him. Give him more time. Please. Extend your period of grace. Please. Why should I show mercy to a boy who has shown me nothing but disrespect? He has not. He's only controlled by his youthful exuberance. Tell him to do the needful. You should do the needful. Else! This land 
will feel the rot of Adam. Tell me you are coming. Am I restricted from visiting my woman? I did not say so. Just that it's time for my business and I may not have time to discuss with you. Okay. Unfortunately, I did not come here to discuss with you. Why are you here then? To assist you. So. Greetings, my friends. Greetings. If it's not Chibuizi, madam. <laughs> you are right. You are right. Please sit down. Thank you. Ah, it's been a while. Yes, actually, I, I traveled out of the country. And when I came in, I was informed you were in town. Ah, you did well. You did well. You did well. <laughs> so, uh, what brings you to the palace? Well, um, I, I came to see your sister, the princess. You came to see my sister. Yes. <laughs> my sister. <laughs> I smell doom. I smell calamity. I smell the wrath of our benevolent gods. Aging closer. Closer. I know you scare me. And our prince is here to pay homage to the Adan. He is not in a hurry to change his mind. Hey. That is the problem. Hey. And what have Adani decided? 
she is threatening the peace of the land. The very peace of the land. Hey. I know. This is the time we elders have to come into this matter. We cannot fold our hands and what things go wrong. So, what do we do? If I we... suggest we have a meeting among ourselves. Without involving the king. And take a decision. We must do something for the interest of this kingdom. I think that is a very good idea. I think you are right. Yes, that's a very good idea. Very good idea. Um, I want a full package eh? with uh, fish, bomo, oba. Okay. Then you add it uh, otaze. Onions. Yes, okay. yes. Just please mix it very well, and I want it to be no, tasty. No problem. It's sir. for the prince. Hey, no problem, sir. You will like it. You will like it very much. Give me this one for you. Yes, yes. You can add extra for more no the fish, please. No problem. Why are you blocking 
You are very stupid. You are very stupid for referring to me as your son. Can you give back to a man like me? Can I be your son? We can put you here and you can put me Me. Since we started driving, you've not said anything. Please. <sighs> Baby, please, your silence is killing me. You know, you know, you know how I value hearing your voice. Please talk to me. Pikunu. Chi. Jim. My love. No, oh my, oh my eyes is seeing me. dash my horse to the wall. Yeah? I was thinking he would remain like before. Instead, he finished everything. He even licked the flask. Yeah? Ah, ah. Tazo, tawazo. Yeah? And I even sent myself on errand of come and pick, uh, uh, pick the flask. But I'm not doing it again. The, the meds will come and pick it. Baby, talk to me. What did I do wrong? You really don't know what you've done wrong. I don't know and that is why I keep asking you. Listen, some of the things I hate so much is pride and disrespect. And you have both. Look, I'm sorry to say this, so, but you see this relationship. I see it heading nowhere. Okay? But, but baby, see. Wait for what? Please. I can, I can always change. Wait, why are you even angry? <laughs> for you. All is well. Hmm. If you see another woman with your man, Ebuka, well, if you see it as all is well, then all is well. I don't understand what you're talking about. Wait. I saw Ebuka and Chinatu in his car. How do I even say this? Kissing. Romancing. Some things that I can I don't, I don't even know how to mention them. You need to see. No. Just tell me you are joking. Wait, oh. I'm telling you what I saw with my two eyes. You are walking away. Wait, oh. that's not so. <laughs> that idiot with my man. I am telling you the truth. I can't do your preferring the month of November now. I'm telling you what I saw. Okay, no problem. Let me get some first. Let me plan myself very well. I will teach that girl a very big lesson. But wait, oh, please. Don't tell her it said so. Please, don't even mention my name. But what I know is, I saw both of them with my two naked eyes. No problem. Don't tell her I I'll said so. Remember, don't tell her I said so. Hey, thank you. I will teach her mm. mm. a 
Wherever you bought this from, huh? Don't stop buying from there. Buy from that same source. God! Oh. My prince, I can see you really enjoyed today's so. No, 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 no. I did, I did, I did, I did. Ah, no, no, no. This made me miss this village a whole lot more. Oh! Oh! Well. Ah, no, no. You emptied the flask. <laughs> you didn't even remain anything for me. No, no. This time around, I choose to be very selfish. Thank you. I even wanted more, you know. <laughs> mm. Don't worry. I will make sure I buy from the same person every day. Good, good, good. Even tomorrow. Uh, my prince, mm. do you need any other thing? Like what? When I get to that part, I'll let you know, okay? Okay, my prince. Okay. Mm. Chinatu, why keep me aside for so long? I've been knocking for a while what now. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? What do you want? Why are you here? <sighs> Chinatu, we are lovers, aren't we? Before. How do you mean before? Listen, Ibuka. I need time. I really need time to think about this whole thing. So I advise that you let me be. She had to see. Please, 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 just go. Oh, my princess. So, what did you say you're taking me to? Somewhere nice. Oh. Somewhere you will like. Wow. <laughs> and um, I have a surprise for you today. Surprise? <laughs> you know I love surprises. Yes, and that is why I want to give you one. <laughs> so, um, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so this is true. Eh? Madness. No problem. You've not seen anything yet. When you will see the real madness is when I will see you near my fiancé again. Um, please. Who is this fiancé of yours you think I would want to associate with? Okay. You don't know who is my fiancé again, Abby. Okay. Now, swear with your dead parents that you killed that you don't know that Ebuka is my fiancé and we've been together for a long time now. Did you just see I killed my parents? Yes, I did. Am I lying? Answer me! Am I lying? I don't care with this your crocodile tears though. What I know is this. I don't want to see you near my fiancé again. I will not warn you again. You are crying. So crying. Just excited. This is fulfillment of dream. Share it with me. Ta -da. Uh, <laughs> you got engaged? Yes, mom. Really? Let me see. Come here. <laughs> wow, this is good news. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, mom. He proposed and I said yes. I'm happy for you. <laughs> oh. Mm, congratulations. Thank you. I must call for a celebration. I know. So let me get some drink. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Wait. Thank God I met you. What is it? Is there a problem? A very big one. Which is? Tell that thing you call your friend. Tina, or whatever that she's called. Tell her to leave my man alone. Because anytime I see the two of them together, this community will not contain she and I. Are you indirectly telling me that Tina is going after your man? I am not indirectly telling you. I am directly telling you that she is. And I will not spare her the next time I see her around my man. Just warn her. This whole thing is a bit surprising to me because Chinat is not the type that goes after people's man. Oh. Are you sure about what you're saying? I wasn't told. I saw her myself. <sighs> no, I'll ask her. We just want her. Oh, we just want her. Anyway, man. You better want her. She said you killed your parents. How could she say something like that to you? Doesn't she know how your parents died? Mr. Why you're crying? I guess she said that to hurt me. And she has succeeded. It's fine. But tell me the truth. Are you going after Ibuka? No. I never did. Ebuka was the one who approached me for a relationship. I declined initially, but I later changed my mind. I, I never knew he had a girlfriend and he didn't tell me to. I believe you. I believe you. But you need to let him go. You need to let Ebuka go so you don't ruin your reputation. I don't want Ozioma ruining it for you. I heard you. Ozuko, oh. Stop crying now. Good day, no. Ah, chief guy. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just coming from your house. Your wife told me you went for a meeting at the village square. 
Yes, as a matter of fact, we have just dismissed from the meeting. Okay. Um, oh no, the king wants to see you. The king wants to see me? Yes. Okay. Mm, I'll be at the palace later. Mm? Tell the king I'll be there later. Mm? Let me get to my house first. Mm? Okay. Don't pretend as if you do not see me because I know you do. Ebuka, Ebuka, carry your useless self from my compound. I don't want to ever see you again. Chinatu, what wrong have I done again? Why all this insult and attitude? Go and ask your girlfriend, Ozioma. Who came here to insult me? Listen, Ebuka, I beg you. I don't want to be a topic in the mouth of gossips in this village. So get out from my compound. I don't want problem. Go! Wait, you mean Ozioma came here to warn you? You heard me! Mwa, leave. Okay, Chinat, Get out. Get out. Get out. Leave. I'll use this broom to hit you. Go. I don't want to insult you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll go. Get out. You have a girlfriend and you're coming here to disturb me. So, who's your mother? Ah, hello, greetings. Uh. Oyema! Oyema! Come. My friends. Yes, uh, it's a beautiful day and uh, like to take a walk. Okay, my prince. Uh, do you want to go with the car or? Like I said, I want to take a walk, starting from here. Come with me. Okay, my prince. Your Majesty, uh, you sent for me. Yes. The princess is getting married. The father to her suitor was here today. And that is why I sent for you as the tradition demands. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Uh, we, the elders of Ifitani, will not be present in any ceremony within the palace. Oh no, why? As a matter of fact, uh, Your Majesty, I was on my way from the meeting of elders when I met Onyema. At that meeting, we, we resolved that until the prince does the needful, with the elders in council, we buy cut every activity in the palace. Oh no. Oh no, are you not planning coup against my reign? Your Majesty, call it whatever you like, but it is all for the good of Ifitani. I will take my leave now, and this might be my last visit to the palace until the prince pays homage to Adani. 
ಇವೆ